right. We are trying again. Um, this is the third part, and it is the third part because I keep getting frozen, like my, my camera freezes up. And as you can see, I've already done a lot to this um, flower. I had a monster energy drink earlier, and so I've got lots of energy, although my eyes are starting to gum over. And uh, so since I've got the energy and the time, I'm going to try to uh, continue working on this flower so that um, see here this is what I'm working on hey peach welcome back thanks for the thumbs up so this is what I've been working on and I'm going to try and work on it some more before I can't work any longer um we'll put a few spots in here there are some leaves in here that had some some color on I mean some some light on them this is probably too much light I did an hour and a half of streaming the other day at um, at this festival. It was the only other live stream I've done, and it just went an hour and a half and didn't give me any problems at all. Um, I don't know. It's kind of nice that it's breaking my video up into nice little um, segments. So again, I'm not really paying too much attention to what's really in the picture, which is kind of contradictory to what I said at the beginning of this video about like I'm not drawing anything that I don't actually see. Well, that was true for a while, um, but now I am kind of making some stuff up just because the picture is kind of like really overwhelming and maybe because I'm tired. I'm not making everything up like I actually see this highlight that I'm painting right here. It's actually in that picture over there a little bit. So I'm not totally making it up. This is maybe not quite as obvious as I'm making it. Maybe not this exact shape and not in that exact spot. That's too much. Too much. I'll grab some of this green right here. Grab some more of that green right there. Um, what I was trying to tell you earlier before we got cut off, Peach, was that. Um, was that I think what might what it might be what looks off is the color because on my camera this red and green don't look like it does in real life I don't think um, I don't know what it's doing where you, from where you're sitting but the picture that I see on my camera and the picture that I see in real life are like drastically different colors I think I'm going to 
attempt to go back into this. Um, red a little bit. I don't know what color this is. Look, I'm going to ask the audience. I'm, gonna ask, I'm, I'm colorblind, so I don't know the answers to all these questions. So I'm going to ask the audience. Tell me, Peach, what color is that thing? What color are those? Hmm? Zoom in on them. Can you see them? What color is that thing right there? Is it black? Can I get away with doing it blue? Not blue, but like the, the color that this red and blue make together. Looks like brown to you, huh? All right, well, we can do that too. I can make brown just as easily as I can make any other color, which is not very easy at all considering I'm colorblind. So what I'm going to do is I've got um, a little bit of blue here, and i got a little bit of green mixed up, and i got a little bit of red mixed up. And I'm going to take all that and make it into this color right here. That one. That one. Uh, where's that? That one. Look how easy this is. That one. I don't care if it's the right color or not. I like it. And that leaf is really like in the wrong place. Maybe not. I mean that not leaf. That petal. Right there. And then there's something else there in the middle. I like I like you you being here to help me out. What color do you call that? It doesn't quite look like the other ones. What colors do I not see? I don't know. I don't see them. Um, I'm red green colorblind, but I see red and I see green. But it's like shades of red and green kind of get mixed together, or or kind of get confusing sometimes. It really helps to have the colors like next to each other. All right, so now I'm gonna give them some little I don't know what you call them stems. We get a little bit of red here. And just a little bit of blue here and I'm gonna mix up a, a really dark red a red violet mm, kind of a darker red than the red you're using go for what you think it should look like I kind of did I'm going to put a little stem here, right there, right there, right there. And then there's these shadows. I'm going to mix a little bit more blue. This is a shadow. My shadows are darker than my... I guess that's okay. Darker than the... actual objects making them. Right here. 
I think one of the things that just kind of makes it work out all right is when you have a lot of complexity, like this, um, when it was all plain, of course, it didn't look, didn't look like I knew what I was doing. I'm still not sure it looks like I know what I'm doing, but with all those little stems on there, it's kind of hard to decide if I know what I'm doing. I, th I would, I think from from outside perspective. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? Because I don't. I'm gonna mix up a little more pink here and do kind of a highlight right here. And a little bit of a highlight right here. So the thing is, I'm painting a size that's too small for the smallest brush that I've got. That makes a big difference. If your brush is too small, oh no, no, I'm sorry, if your painting is too small, I don't know how in the world people paint on the ends of pinheads. I've seen that before somewhere. People actually paint on pinheads or or rice. They paint on rice. Why? Not trying to not trying to um, slam it or anything. I just don't understand it. I'm, I'm basically saying I don't understand it. How does one paint on rice? And not mess up. Where do you find a brush small enough to paint on rice? All right, I'm getting hungry. Order me some pizza, Peach. I'm just kidding. I'm surprised that not many people are watching your stream. You have 1,000. Well, there's several reasons why I don't have a lot of people watching my stream. Um, one reason is because I don't promote it enough. Like, I, uh, I posted it on my Facebook and my YouTube a little bit. But, um, I just don't feel like I promoted it enough. Like, you really got to promote these things. And two, this is my, really only my, I don't know, you can count it, I guess you can count it as my second one. Um, but, but I've only, this is only my second live stream. And, you know, one thing that I didn't do was I did not promote it where I think most of my um, followers actually are. Um, most of my followers are art teachers and AP studio art students, I think. And the reason for that is because I usually promote my stuff on AP studio art groups on Facebook. And when I started doing promoting this I was just kidding about the pizza I was just kidding about the pizza but when I started promoting this on Facebook I didn't actually promote to the art teachers because I didn't really feel like what I was going to do tonight was going to be of any interest to them so that might have something to do with it alright look I'm blending this uh, white highlight I'm going to come back and do some more white highlight in a minute, but I'm blending this white highlight into the leaf a little bit more. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And then I'll come back and I'll add more white. I just kind of felt like I needed more value. more 
more value change here. More subtlety. But if you will get the word out for me, Peach, if you will tell all of your friends and family <clears throat> that um, I'm live streaming from time to time, if you keep up with when I'm actually live streaming, how did you find out that I was live streaming tonight? Just from checking my channel? Or uh, did you see it on Facebook? Or what? How did you find out? I really kind of feel like I made these leaves a little bit too orangey now. When I first did it, it made sense. In the picture, it kind of looks like that. But now, I'm thinking that there is some darker red. I love it when a, thing, when a painting comes together. And it's actually starting to look like I want it to look. Get out of town. Um, you found it when you was going to look for your lo-fi hip-hop channel. Oh cool, which lo-fi hip-hop channel do you like? I listen to a few of them too. Um, well, I'm glad you stopped by. You seem to be my most loyal fan right now, Peach, because you keep coming back even after it freezes up. There ought to be like a t-shirt or something that the most loyal fan gets, right? Don't you feel like there should be some sort of reward? for being my lo most loyal fan right now. I'm going to put a little bit of red in here. And a little bit of red in here. Chill hop music, that's what I like to watch too. What do you mean, no, I'm just here to watch? Oh, like you don't feel like you should get a free t shirt or something for being the most loyal fan? Well, um, I usually watch, I, I mean, I like to listen to chill hop as well. I listen to it in school all the time uh, with my students, I play it in class. Great great stuff I think I might draw Arthur from the Holy Grail I watched the music yesterday watched the movie yesterday oh yes great movie that is my probably my all-time favorite movie I have it memorized um, I noticed you said something about watching it earlier and how you said it was kind of confusing well it is kind of confusing um, mostly because it's just kind of like ridiculous so don't take it too seriously but at the same time um, the more you know about medieval history 
and the more you know about um, um, King Arthur and uh, stuff like that, the the more sense it'll make. Um, for example, um, the part where it's, where the guy's coming around, he's like, "Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead!" Well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you know about the the Great Plague, the Black Plague, and how people were dying and and all of that um, back then due to the Black Plague. Look at what that, look at what that highlight does. This is when I love a painting. When, when you get to that point where you're just like, man, I should have given up like five hours ago, but then all of a sudden, snap, and it works. I mean, it's not that great a painting or anything, but it's way better than I thought it was going to be uh, two hours ago. Never give up. Or at least don't give up too quickly. Sometimes your brush has to act as an eraser. This is another um uh, flower down here, but I'm not even going to, I'm not really worried about it. This is obviously my main focus, and so I'm not going to mess with that too much. In fact, I'm going to cut off, I think at some point I'm going to cut it off right there because this doesn't really belong. I don't need that much flower petal down there. There's all kinds of cool stuff. I like this. I think part three of my video might only be 30 minutes long or so. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, favorite scene was the knights who say me. Me. I say me to you one more. I forgot how it goes. I used to, I have most of it memorized. Um, it's a great movie. I've probably seen it a hundred thousand times. That one little spot is too bright. So keep looking at your painting, you know, like if you're, when you're doing a painting, keep looking at it. Um, look for things that you can fix and tweak and make better. Um, That is until you can't work on it no more and you have to go to sleep. You know what I mean? Which is really soon. Alright, so I'm going to mix together a little shadow color. Because right here, there's a whole lot more shadow. Not really a whole lot more shadow, but a darker shadow right there. And it kind of comes up this way. Look how that brings that out. If I do say so myself. All right. Now that part right there is not good. I'm 
just kind of like cutting into that shadow and bringing some more of the red into there. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of the shadow on my brush. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow right here. A little bit right here. Just a little bit on the edges of these petals makes a big difference. Too much white, not enough red. I'm not sure I'm doing that one very well. The funny thing is, there's a little white line, and there's no way I'm going to get that white line without like a knife or something. Oh, let's see what I got. I got a, a razor blade. I can pick it up. Yeah, I love that scene. All right, I'm gonna move this stuff. I gotta get up in there. My paint is in the way. Alright, now watch this. I'm gonna take this razor blade and I'm gonna see if I can't scratch this line into the appropriate place. And it's working. Can you see that? The reason I did that is because there's this little edge right there. Can you see it? Let's see, is there anything else like that I can do? That's another one of my favorite scenes from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Is there anyone else up there we can talk to? I used a razor blade and just kind of scratched the oil paint off that one little spot. Probably don't need to get too carried away with it. Sometimes you need to just do it and then leave it alone. Be careful with razor blades. Don't cut yourself. It doesn't have to be that kind of razor blade. I could have used a exacto knife to do that or... Um, Or I could have used a um, pocket knife. All right. I think that I'm going to have to call it quits. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, Peach. Please give me a thumbs up. Please come back and watch. Please subscribe. Um, look for... Um, let's see. Look for future live streaming. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do it every Saturday night. I might do Saturday mornings. But my amaryllis turned out a little bit better than I thought it would. Good night.